So what's up, people? It's Robert Vassano, La Nacte Venetas. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. I'm going to make a short phone call today to the IceBridge Media Resources for NASA's IceBridge project, okay? Operation IceBridge. And uh, I got a specific question, and that specific question actually involves these particular photos which came from NASA's website all right and I want to know why it's the only landmass on earth okay along with the Arctic whereby when they take an infrared or thermal imaging photo the middle of it is just a black fucking void why on Google Earth you have this black void. And I'm going to show it to you guys. There, there are people out there who think they're fucking software experts and say, oh, it's some sort of fucking uh, software patch glitch and pixel problem. No, I've had half a dozen fucking communications by email or Google. We went through every sort of potential technical problem that could exist. This is over a six week period. They couldn't explain the anomaly. All right. Maybe they don't, just don't know anything about it. But if anybody knows anything about it, it should be NASA. So we're going to conduct a phone call today. And we're going to try to speak to uh, Media Resources, Mr. Ronnie Grum. Okay. This is Kate. Kate, how you doing? Kate, this is Kate Ramsey. Kate, how you doing? My name is Robert Bassano. I'm a graduate student. Um, okay. I'm actually simultaneously pursuing a, uh, a master's in geospatial intelligence at John Hopkins. So, I was wondering if you can ask, uh, answer uh, just one particular specific question. Um, I uh, collected some geospatial imagery data off of you guys' website regarding uh, Operation Ice Bridge. And yeah. there's, there's some specific images um, that show longitude, latitude, degrees. And because um, I was basically, I'm going to put together a research report. Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm always, I've been interested in Antarctica for quite some time. So what I'm looking at on the IR images um, mm -hmm. for uh, satellite and reconnaissance flights, there's always been this center mass dark void right over the center of Antarctica where Admins and Scott Station is supposed to be. Now, on Google Earth Pro, you can you can see it. You can zoom into it and but this this circular dark void around Antarctica what 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 was interesting to me and I thought maybe it was a software glitch um because I talked to Google Earth Pro is that when I went into ground level around seven feet, you see this dark void on ground level. But when I compare it with you guys' images, the aerial phot photography and satellite imagery shows this dark void. So is, is, is there a reason why the, the real-time images and stills being taken? Because the image I'm looking at right now is January 21st, 2014. So my paper actually involves in, uh, developing an advanced image processing toolbox to allow for that image to be processed, you know, um, properly. So are you talking about like an, a circle around the, the South Pole? Yeah, I mean, it's just that circular area, the center of Antarctica. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Okay. With uh, satellites like Landsat, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah. They don't, yeah, they don't go, they don't go directly over the South Pole. Uh, when they orbit, they have a a slight inclination. Well, so they um, so they so they miss the the geographic South and North Pole. So you say, okay, they're kind of tilted. Um, if you, if you now you're saying you're saying the sat, you're saying the sat is tilted. The satellite orbits at a at an angle. 
Okay, but and then I I factored that. Yeah, I factored that in. But it what 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 I'm confused about is that the image I'm looking at that I got off of from the IceBridge website um, from NASA is that based on how the satellite's traveling. Because I mean I don't know a whole lot about you know how Landsat is actually taking the photos. I know I've got the data on Landsat eight nine. And I think you got, wait, is there, is there Landsat 10? No, we're only no, no, no. Eight. Yeah, well, yeah, Landsat 8. I got the data from 7 and 8. And I was comparing the images. Even if it's tilted, why, I mean, it, it doesn't, I can understand it's not passing over the South Pole directly, over that center, okay? But it should still be showing an image. It's just showing that circular black void meaning that you should still be able to see landmass because we know that there's something there but how is it that the satellites actually missing that because it doesn't go over that section so you, you're saying it has to so you're saying it has to go over go it has to it has to literally pass over 90 degrees over that specific section the the if you if you send me an email, I can send you back a link. I'll I'll look up and send you a link that explains it better. Okay. Uh, when it's an it's like a ninety two or eighty eight degree inclination. Okay. And so the imager on Landsat only can only see what's below it to a certain you know distance on either side. Okay. So it. It isn't able to catch the the surface. So beyond that. So what what's the average circumference and 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 uh, square meter coverage that Landsat is actually missing for this area? Do you, do you happen to have that data? No, I don't. So you're saying that you guys have absolutely zero data. Where any satellite has been zip, has any satellite actually captured all of Antarctica without that dark void? I don't, you know, I'm not an expert um, on this, so I don't know. If you want to send me an email, I can forward it along to somebody who studies this. Should, should I send you copies of the images as well? Uh, if you'd like to, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, but sure, you can. See. You, you've seen you. You know what I'm talking about. You've seen. You know what I've seen before. What I'm talking. About, what is actually available. There's a hole in the coverage for land. Yeah, there's a hole in the coverage, and and my thing is but is that. I don't know. It's possible that other satellites have different orbits, and so they've captured those. Um, it's. I know that they're aircraft images, but I'm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking at aircraft. You know, I need. I need to compare sat and uh, aerial image, atmospheric images. You know, anywhere between three thousand to forty-five thousand feet. I even went on Sophia's website to see if they actually were covering it because I know they fly down there. And um, okay. Well, why don't, why don't you send me an email and then? Yeah. What's what's your email? Is? What's your email address? It's Kate. K A T. Mhm. Mm okay. Dot D. Uh huh. Uh huh. S A Y. Uh huh. E R. E R. At NASA.gov. At NASA.gov. Yep. And I'll forward it along to somebody who can. Answer yeah, because I, I kind of got a timely issue, so I'm working on this paper for the weekend, and I want to be able to get the data put together. You think that someone will be able to respond to me today? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, because I got a Tuesday submission deadline. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's just I had. You know, I got a list of everything that was, you know, in the sky, you know, going to that area. And um, it looked like there's there's assets flying over the South Pole. But, you know, the image, the, the, the image capture data, it, it just, I was just trying to understand. I mean, I was looking at technical specs for the sats and, you know, even, irregardless of, you know, um, the angle of trajectory and you know where it's pointed it seems that they're capturing all of antarctica but 
you still got this circular void where there's you can't see anything there at all. And for Landsat, that's because of the orbit. It's just the way the orbit's designed. And there's no way of retasking this to actually see something different. I don't know about that. Hmm. Well, send me the email and I'll forward it along. All right, I'm going to shoot. Yeah, I'll shoot that too, and I really appreciate it. Sure thing. Thank you, Kate. Bye bye. So, people, you heard what she said. Okay? I'm going to shoot her an email and uh, I'm going to send these images to her. I'm going to send this image. I'm going to send this image. That's January. Look at that. That's January 7th, 2014. All right? I don't know when this one was. I'm going to send this image January 7th, January 21st, January uh, February 14th, and I'm going to send this bad boy. And I'm going to see what they say. I'm going to send this one as well. Because that don't jive with me. I don't give a shit that it's not flying directly over the fucking South Pole. For some reason, when you look at these trajectories, it looks like here they're fucking avoiding it. They're avoiding the South Pole. I want to know why you're avoiding the South Pole. Why? So that's what I want to see. Okay? So I think what I'll do is I'll wait for the email before I post this video. And let's see what happens. Okay, guys? So again, this was going to be a short one. And um, I'd like to know if the Earth is really potentially fucking hollow. Or that's some sort of electromagnetic anomaly. And um, there's a whole different world out there. Okay? Let's see what happens to you.